Hey guys, Sushi Stew back on here today. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to install the new DGen Sega Genesis or Mega Drive emulator. So, download the files that you need in the links, BBH tool if you need it, to sideload the bar file, download the bar file, and download some ROMs that I have for you. Plug your playbook into the PC, turn on development mode like always. 169.25401 should be the development address. On BBH tool, you can see the development address is also in the IP address bar. I've inputted my password that I created when starting development mode and I'm going to add the bar file. There it is, dgen, open, make sure we have the check mark. Once you know you're connected to development mode, like the prompt on your PC pops up and you input your password, then you can install it with BBH installer. So we'll hit install. I've already got mine installed so I'm just gonna pause the video and let it finish. It'll probably be quicker that way. Okay, so it's done. My window popped up and I said okay. Now I can go to my playbook as you can see on the little screen. Scroll down. There's DGen. Launch the application. It'll flash the screen and go back. That's what we want. The first time you run yours it'll probably say access to files. You want to hit okay. Now this is where we're going to install the ROMs. So, if you haven't downloaded them, download them now. And we're going to go to our ROM location. ROMs. We want Sega. You'll have all these ROMs that I have here. We're going to take Mortal Kombat. I'm going to try that one first. Copy that. It's going to go into a folder that we're going to create. So we're going to open up the miscellaneous folder on the root of the playbook file. You can see I'm in the playbook. We're going to open up miscellaneous. computer's being a little bit slow. There we go. So in there's the dgen folder that we created when we ran it. We want to open up ROMs in the miscellaneous folder. If you don't have it, create it. In here is a folder called SMD. And this is where we put our Sega Mega Drive or Genesis ROMs. So I copied it, now I'm going to paste it in there. Shouldn't take too long for you guys. You're probably not recording anything and using up your memory. 21 minutes for 4 megabytes. Right. If it really thinks it's going to take that long, I'll pause the recording. Come on, two minutes now. Still a long time.
There we go. I paused the recording and it's done. Now we can close this window and try out our Mortal Kombat. So as you can see on the little screen, it started up right away. Sega Mortal Kombat 3. Okay. Give it a little test here. Definitely got to play it lots more. There's my phone. Don't need to answer it. She's kicking my ass. Holy crap, I suck. But as you can see, we now have. Sega Mega Drive Genesis on our playbooks. Another great emulator from Froggy Face. So make sure you say thanks to him any way you can. Even if you don't let him hear it. Have fun guys. Peace out.